Hello, it's Andy Graham with the Ask Andy Show. I've traveled nonstop for 16 plus years and went to 90 countries. Um, I got a really pretty interesting question. I, Julio, Julio, Julio Ah, uh, I'm not sure exactly where he's from. I think. Okay, hi Andy. I just came across you on YouTube, and I'm already a big fan of your philosophy. I agree with uh, most of your ideas so far, but I want your opinion on a serious question I've been struggling with. Do you think travel is just another form of materialism? And better yet, consumerism. I debate for both sides constantly, as do I reflect on it with my most enlightened of friends. But there is something so price-driven about travel. I mean, I have, been, I have my own business and own methods escaping the rat race, and I've, I live way below my means, and I am able to travel the world, the world seeking more meaning. Uh, I mean, the Buddha was the most enlightened being, and yet he lived primarily in one geographical location. Uh, with my tiny home in a rural land and self-sustaining way of living, plus my multiple streams of income from society, do I need to con continue with what I once valued as awesome adventures? Uh, maybe I have thought about this too much, that I, that I have lost complete sense of clarity of the answer, but any idea you have would be of great benefit of me. He's got a little colon with a D. I don't know what that means. Uh, thanks. Julio. Um, his basic question is, do you think travel is uh, just another form of materialism, or better yet, or better yet consumerism? Um, yes, 100%. <laughs> okay, yeah. It, there is no doubt that uh, I, I tell the re I, I, I make a joke and it's pretty sarcastic and I apologize for the sarcasm but it's, I, I really believe it. I believe that people travel to tourists, they go on trips, 90% 90, 90 of them probably go on trips just so they can go home and uh, brag to the people they work with and where they went to. Uh, they make the decision on whether or not it's acceptable to the people that uh, they're, they work with and they know. Uh, they don't make it on whether it's a place where they can do their hobbies, whether it's the perfect climate, whether they can do it. They, they're making it just as uh, everybody else is talking about it, so they go there. Uh, this is not, not the way to m travel. Uh, so that makes it very consumerism. They're buying, they get tempted and they buy. Uh, consumers uh, are quick to buy something uh, they basically care about reviews, they care about uh, judgments, they care about everything. Uh, so obviously if you get on TripAdvisor or Yelp or any of these things or uh, Twitter or Facebook, you'll see people recommending things. And this is what makes it consumer driven. Um, is it price driven? I don't think so. I don't think it's really... every 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 single website you ever get on travel will say that they're selling you things at the cheapest price. And that's just not possible. That's just bullshit. Uh, any hotel in 225 countries on the planet over $25 is, is a very, very expensive hotel. And they're really just breaking you. Because when they're making $10 a day, uh, income, I'm 225 countries on the planet, and anything over $10 to me is way too much. Uh, because that's about the day's wages. And I think you should always be able to live on one day's wages in a country. Uh, and really good, and you can. So, but uh, people, people that are consumers, they evaluate things on what other people are paying, and uh, very materialistic. They want to, they think they're getting a value, a good value, if other people say they're getting good value, and they really are not able to think it through. So, is it a materialistic thing? Travel, 100%. Um, and the, but the great part, let me, let me say the caveat here, the, 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 the kicker. The kicker, uh, Julio, is uh, it's real easy traveling. To, when you, okay, if, give an example. If you went to China, and even if you're surrounded by other tourists, it's really easy 
to avoid the social status quo of the other travelers around you and do your own thing and not have them influence you. So what, what the, the best thing about travel is, is that if you're worried about materialistic things, is that you can travel and you're able to look at the other people spending money and there really is no social pressure by the other travelers. There, there's a lot if you hang around with them. But what I'm saying is you can actually look at them passing you by. It's like I always say, what gets into people that they go into an airport and everybody thinks that they have to eat and everything. There's such a bad value for everything in, uh, in the airport. But they, they're just, they just buy everything. It's obviously a uh, consumerism, materialism thing. They, they, they just are not okay unless they're buying something. And uh, what the value of travel is, is that you can go outside this medium, and if you spent two months away from these people, you start to cut all the chains. I, I was, I'm trying to, I'm collecting to write a book about uh, how to have a live abroad lifestyle. And basically it's how to end this consumerism and materialism and all the little key things that hook you into it. Um, there's a lot. There's things that people do that hook you into it. It's like you just say, let's go eat tonight. And, you know, they'll figure out a $100 a night, $100 restaurant, right? And if you don't like the restaurant, then that's really kind of silly. Uh, so, you, you know, to go along... You, you know, and, and this is what you don't have to do when you're traveling is that you don't have to go along. And I highly, you know, TripAdvisor is the worst. I mean, TripAdvisor is so consumeristic and materialistic that, uh, you know, they're gaming these things and they're just basically, I, I if I see a TripAdvisor on a window at a hotel, I don't go there. I just refuse to go in just because, it's not that I don't go in, it's just that it means that I, I definitely give it, five marks down on my preferred list because I see it as being too, uh, they're not selling value, they're selling uh, reviews, right? <laughs> and they game these things like water. Uh, these are not to be trusted. And, uh, but, and, but go out, the, the big adventure is, the big adventure is ourself. Go out, be by yourself, be away from your own culture, be away from all Americans for two months, and you'll never be the same. And you'll never, you'll never get hooked as easily back into these consumer things. Uh, don't read the U.S. news. Don't do a thing. Just be an independent soul, living living your life somewhere else in another country for uh, one to two months, and and you'll come back a different person. And it it'll make you a much better person, and it'll make you also realize that all these things we do in the United States are sort of petty. I mean. Uh, but if you got the money, you can't really deny them the right to go do it. But you understand that this this idea that I don't have money, if somebody tells me that, I, I really don't feel, I don't even feel a little bit sorry for them. I probably did when I was in America, but now I, I don't even feel the least bit sorry for them. I think you made your own bed and you, you have to go sleep in it. Um, but it's it's extremely materialistic and it's just something they do to go on vacation to go home and tell their friends they bought this thing right um, when a person goes out you know I, I, I always make a joke about after Europe uh, the people that go to anywhere after Europe or after the Caribbean or after Mexico that's when I think they start traveling uh, the people that go to Mexico Caribbean or Europe I I don't give them much travel uh, respect until they go after that. I always call them after Europe because that's when they made a decision to go where they wanted to go and not where everybody else wanted to go. Okay, and here as I go. I go to Europe here next week. <laughs> There's no easy answer, guys. Life is uh, always a temptation.